Welcome back, episode 15 of season two. So I think at this point I decide I'm gonna go forward with the trains and I just take this extra stone that's in there that I don't really want. I just start laying it down. I'm like, ah, I don't wanna go back and clean it up. So anyway, so I'm gonna go down and collect my engines or I'm, I'm thinking about building something here. I think I wanna build a train factory, but I rem remember that it's just easier to build trains in your pocket. Um, not going to do that anyway. So one of the thoughts that I had, kind of just you know, daydreaming, I'm like, you know, do I want to do 20 trains again? What if I did 20 trains in one engine or two engines? Uh, they'd be slower, they'd be bigger, they wouldn't reach as high of a top speed. But I think, I think having huge trains that like go off the screen, even at maximum zoom out, I think that's kind of cool. I like it. So um, that's what I want to do is is uh, build another system where I have huge trains. Um, 20, maybe not 20 cars, maybe I'll do 100 cars, you know, something crazy like that. And so it's just like uh, factories, you know, entire sections devoted to like one factory, like, um, and we're just going to have massive throughputs. And I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff, but I, I do I do have the idea of, you know, um, a million a minute. Is it possible to make a million iron plates a minute, a million circuits a minute? You know, that would be crazy. I think that would be awesome, but that would be crazy. Um, I, I mean, that massive factory I built last season, and maybe I'll go back to that one day, I don't know, but that massive factory that I built, um, you know, I think I built a couple million, like three or f three to five million iron plates to build all that, and I, I haven't really even turned it on, you know. Anyway, now I have a bunch of solar panels, um, so I'm going to put them to use here, and I'm going to put down some more of these accumulators. Um, I'm trying to find a good place to put the RoboPort so it's not on the way of construction. So that's where it is. So yellow chest, put in the materials, blam, blam, and I don't have a lot of power lines, so I just have to go get some more. You know, this is the kind of thing that I forget to do is it's always one thing and the other. So you have to go all the way back, uh, which was really nice because I had that train that, that I could bring with me that had pretty much everything I needed. And at first, you know, I missed a couple of things, but later on I realized um, I was able to get the things that I wanted, you know. You know, every time I needed something, I remember to make a space for it on the train next time. Um, the one thing I need to work on if I'm going to build a supply train like that is I have to get the proportions right. Like, I think I was carrying way too many minings, um, miners, and uh, I didn't have nearly enough... Um, robots and stuff or something like that there was anyway the, the the ratios was kind of weird so anyway lay that down to finish off filling it in and i think at this point i want to build another set and i like let's, let's just link them together let's just make a sea of solar panels it's not like i need to get in there anyway you know i'm not gonna ever change it so i'm checking the numbers to make sure i have enough to lay down some more i think i don't quite have enough for a full a full one of these takes 144 it's a four times six times six. That's 144. So they're laying it down. I don't think they have enough. I think they're missing a couple. And I'm like, where are they? I thought I, I thought I had more than 150. And it takes me a while to realize that it's in my belt. Come on, me from the past. Wake up. It's on your belt, right there. Yay! You found it. Okay. And that's the rest of the uh, solar panels there. Um. Uh, belt management. So the belt is two rows. Uh, it doesn't quite have everything that you'd like to have in it. And I decided this time that I'm not going to install more accumulators. So I'm checking the power again. Um, nice spiky. Um, that shows that we are making more than enough power. The reason for the spikes again is that the factory doesn't use a constant amount of power. You know, um, each time an inserter moves, it generates a little. It needs a little bit more electricity, and if uh, they're they're moving in sync with each other, then that you'll get a little spike there. So, and uh, what am I doing down here? I don't remember. Ah, I'm gonna move these solar panels out. I'm like, okay, you guys, you had a nice run, but it's time for me to move you up to be with the other solar panels, so we can be all together in one big happy family. So clearing that all out and they're they're moving quite a bit quicker than they were the first time I think I had two or three upgrades to it a lot of efficiency four is what I'm researching right now um, the nice thing about doing it this way is that 
when you're moving something, you know you've got it all. You just got to remember to look for your belt. Sometimes the items end up on your belt. So the reason why they take so long to do it all is there's a lot of them spending time recharging. You see there's like a little queue for recharging. So uh, the solution to that is to have more robo ports. So I like to walk around with a stack of five um, and 100, 100 construction bots. And with those combinations, they tend not to spend a lot of time recharging. You can see there's a big queue. There's a whole bunch of the robots are waiting to recharge. And uh, it takes forever, you know. There you go. I gotta grab them. Now, if I had other robo ports somewhere, those guys would have taken off for that other robo port. So, but because I don't have other robo ports, they sit still. Okay, so where to put the next one? This is the question that I have. And there's some copper there, not a lot. I just kind of ignore it at first. I don't need to but I'm going to cut down trees and I hope that they won't put the trees in the chest. I'll just leave the chest with the trees in it. I don't want to carry trees around. So there they go. Off they go, all 50 of them. I'm going to clean up some here. Those rocks are so annoying. I'll lay it down. Where's it going to go? Where is he actually going to go? Like that? But then I have that uh, the nine by, uh, was it six by six in the middle that's, that's empty. So I decided to lay it down like that. And this is where I really set my heart on just uh, just building along the coastline there, you know. So three times 144. I don't have enough solar panels to fill this guy in, but I do have a lot. Um, yeah, I actually I do because I destroyed the other one. So three times 144, um, 476, I believe. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm trying to get to the point where I can turn off my steam engines. Uh, steam engines use coal. Sometimes they run out of coal, and when they run out of coal, bad things happen. If you go solar, it just sits there. Um, now, the thing about solar, of course, is if you start, if you're not careful, you'll consume all the power, and halfway through the night, you'll run out of power. And if you're unlucky, that'll be the time when the biters decide to attack, and your lasers won't be able to do much. Now it's missing over here, power pole. There, you got it. I was like, why is it missing that? You gotta go. Okay, so I think I've done enough damage here. Let's put these guys away. And let's go ahead and take the wood. Oh, I knocked out a solar panel. There. All right, let's go put the surplus back. And I think I'm almost to the point where I'm gonna start doing trains. Next episode, the sound is back on, so you can hear my voice in the original instead of the recording over. If the quality is bad, you can blame VLC um, and YouTube. Um, again, I deleted the originals, so I had to download it from YouTube, and I don't think this is 1080p. This is something like 1080p, but there's a lot of, you know, I, it feels like this is worse quality than what I'd have if I was doing it on YouTube. So at this point I say, you know what? Make a ton of solar panels, just a ton. Make all of them. And I say also to make the ton of accumulators because I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go bankrupt. I'm just gonna make a ton of solar power because I'm gonna have a huge factory. So I think last time I calculated that if I use efficiency chips for all the factories, all the yellow factories, for when I was trying to build. Uh, uh, one every 10 minutes, one rocket defense every 10 minutes, um, eight of those solar pa solar panel combinations, so eight times 144, that would have been just enough to get the power I needed. So I'm already close to where I want to be in terms of that. Okay, let's bring down the, the iron. <clears throat> All right, he's hooked up. Let's get these belts back, and I say, you know what? If I have... The robo port, I might as well use it. So I'm lining it up as best I can. You can't quite fit there, so I just say, yeah, I just just go down a little bit there. And I do this a lot when I'm trying to position something. I will use a shadow click so I can go down later and put it in the right spot. So there's your robots. Let's pick it all up. Come on, boys, get to work. There you go. It's going to take them a little bit to do it all. And I'm done with lab efficiency. So 
now it's time to start researching the last bits and bobs before I have to go through the stretch of the uh, uh, combat robot count. So. So, I mean, I don't use logistic robots very much. Oops, I got a robot. Here, go back, work. I don't use logistic robots as much as other people do. Um, I like to use the belts and trains to move things around just because it's more efficient. There are some things that are very difficult to build, and they take a long time, and it makes a lot of sense to have logistic robots uh, allocate the resources. Logistic robots also do a good job of sorting um, and balancing. So, for instance, I'm going to be picking up ore from the the uh, ore patches with two cars. I'm going to have them go to like train stations with like uh, you know 20 cars or whatever. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I should just do 100 cars because it's completely absurd. But anyway, but what needs to happen is those logistic robots need to balance out um, all of the all of the ore so that this is more or less distributed evenly among the chests. If it doesn't do that, then they're all then it'll always favor one side or the other. Although I could do something like where you know. It, you have 50 stations for the ore to unload at, and each each of the 50 stations loads, or you have 25 stations or 10 stations. Each of the 10 stations loads 10 different cars of the 100 car long train. 100 cars, yeah, I think I want to do that. 100 car train. So if I wanted to move that at maximum speed, I'd need uh, 33 engines, which would just be insane. So here I decided that I'm going to make these become the principal inputs, and then these other guys have to mix in on their own. Um, so he's going to come in like that and this guy of course balance that a little bit more or less and then I need to get this guy down here coming up from the top and there he goes and that should give me there we go we have four I'm sorry I hit the microphone we have four solid inputs um, we have three iron ore processing facilities I think I'm inches away from making a fourth. Let me check the time. Halfway through, 26 minutes for this one. Anyway, fast transporter belts. Why did I do that? Well, some of the inserters on the last, you know, when you have a full belt like that, they just kind of hang out and do nothing. So I decided to try to put these down for the last two inserters, see if we can get them better compression. And at this point, I, just, I think I decided to put in a load balancer. There we go. I believe this design came from Bentham. I don't recall. I really like it. So much so that I try to avoid balancing on straights because I like balancing on the curve so much. Um, so this one, I can't really decide how to set this up. Anyway, build some more of those reds. Um, last two belts. Yeah, if I had some more reds. There we go. Alright, so the iron supply should be a little better. I think I realize here, I see what's happening with the iron ore going to the steel. One of the reasons why steel is suffering is it's not getting a full belt of iron. Um, so my little arrangements are designed to have full belts. Um, for maximum capacity, and if they don't get full belts, they will not run at maximum capacity. So, I'm thinking about how to handle that. And as usual, I do something stupid while I wait. I'm just kind of thinking. I'm like, I think at this point I decide, you know what? I need to build another, another set for the iron. I need to have four iron inputs. So, um, I'm looking at building steel furnaces, which require steel, of course and I'm looking at using the RoboPort to build it. So I think at this point I realize it's going to be a while and I need the stone for the steel furnaces, that's right. So I need 120 stone, I think it is. So I'm going to have to increase production of stone with parallelization. So go ahead and grab the stone from those guys. There's not much to grab. Wait, there we go. We got a ton. We got a ton. Okay, we got plenty of stone now. Put all that those rocks back. Don't need them. Now I need steel to make the furnaces. So 
So over here, the steel seems to be working okay. It could be better. And I realize also that I think I need two steel uh, thingamajiggers. One is not going to cut it. And so at this point, I say, you know what? At the end of the belt, there's probably a bunch of steel lying somewhere, and I need gears anyway. So let's go down and let's pick up the steel from the end of the belt and see what we can get. Okay, logistics system is done. So I'm kind of at a loss of what to research now. Um, there's really nothing I need to work on. I, I'm kind of backlogged. So I, I have research done ahead of time for pretty much anything I want to do. So I think I start looking for the cheapest thing. And 50 seems pretty good. So let's do that. That should be done pretty quick. Make some more steel furnaces. Here we go. Here's some, here's some steel. So I'll just pick all that up. Now we can make some more. I don't want to make 16 of them. So I'm trying to count while I walk. I think I got it right. Yeah, I got it right. 16 steel furnaces. Um, I'm going to make a blueprint. Then I'm going to lay it down. Let's go steal the design up here. This guy's a good design. So, um, wait, I decided to do this first. I'm like, eh. Really? 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 Come on, do the blueprint, man. Stop doing it the manual way. It's blueprint time. Yep. Need a blueprint for the blueprint. Trying to get all the important bits. I think I got it all. Yeah, uh, research ruined everything. I hate it when that does that. But it stayed up. Normally it closes that window. So now we need to clear out the trees. They'll take care of that. They don't have a yellow chest yet. They're just going to sit there and hang around. There we go. All right, plop it down, kaboom. What are they missing? They're missing power poles. They need a repair pack for something. I don't know exactly what, but he, he wants to repair it, so go ahead and repair it. I don't care. It was down there. I didn't even know that one was damaged. Must have been from that first attack that destroyed the inside of the base there. Okay, they're missing some things. Um, Obviously red belts. I forgot about that. What else are they missing? There's some splitters. I need some undergrounds. And power poles. Okay, with that, the factory's ready to go. Let's pick all that up. And now I need to get more iron coming up this way. Oh, first you need coal. So I'm going to have two belts of iron coming up at least. That one's going to go in there. How far can that go over there? Yep, that's how it has to work. And I'm, I'm kind of upset that I have to move that back. But oh well. So I'm trying to come up with a compromise. I'm like, eh. There you go. Perfect. All right, coal set up. We need the iron ore now. So that one, that one. Now we have a problem. How do we get this around that area? So we do need to move the coal around. So I decided to move this back one. I'm going to shift the uh, splitter to the left by one, and which means That one's going to go there. This one's going to go up here, which is a problem. Yeah. So I'm thinking about how to get that situation worked out. I don't remember what the solution is, but I'm thinking about it.
and I think I decide to move it down. That that won't work, bud. You got to move it up one. What are you doing? I'm commenting on the videos that don't have any sound. Oh. What are you doing? So now I can't get the underground belts around, so I I have to move it up one. But up one will work. Come on. You can do it, bud. You're talking to yourself, Dad. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. He'll figure it out eventually. He's a smart guy. The computer? No, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just Dad. It just takes him a little bit to get it. See? He figured it out. There he goes. Now we just have a mess he has to clean up and... We're switching the iron ore on one side for the coal on the other. Okay, what's that on the ground belt for? To go under. What's it supposed to carry? Coal. You see? Okay, what's that one for? Coal? Coal. Okay, at the end of that uh, factory, there is a bunch of coal at the end. I need to pull that coal off so that it can start doing uh, iron ore again. Hopefully, I, I blue, don't see it immediately, though. Are I need the to go. blue inserters longer than the yellow inserters? No, they're the same distance. They're just twice as fast. Mm. Okay, let's load balance this one. Actually, maybe this one will go out to do steel. No, I didn't decide on doing that yet. I said, eh, let's bring it down somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. Eee. Pumps run away. Yeah, I don't really care about that stone. It's just a little bit of stone. And lots and lots and lots of wood. I like the I like the way the trees look now. It's uh -huh. cool. Gotta have this combined. Oh, I touched the microphone again. I'm sorry about that. So, I can't go under the water. I do have to go like this. And I do have to build the. Yeah, that one's just. It's going to be dedicated to... I want them to put in, like, bridges and stuff. Yeah. Bridges and tunnels. Yeah, that'd be cool. So let's put some balancers in. Bridges. So how did you put it on the water? You can build one space into the water, but you can't build beyond that. So there's the balancers that oh. I need. These, these guys are not going to balance until they get there. So I can get rid of these guys if I wanted to. I think I'm thinking about the right way to do this. So I'm looking for something quick to research just to get the easy things out of the way. I still haven't realized the right thing to do here. Dad? Yes, Eliana? What was I going to say? I don't know. Neither do I. <laughs> This is done in about three minutes. Um, I'm confused right now. I confuse myself. How do you guys even follow what I do? You guys are amazing. So I think here I made the decision in my head that I'm going to move the steel up. I'm going to have two steel factories and I'm going to move them up. And one of the iron belts, or two of the iron belts, have to be dedicated to it. I have to build yet another iron thing. I have a lot of iron being built early on. That that research really quick. Huh. Ugh. Don't don't don't. It makes a noise that the microphone picks up really well. So yeah, this one I'm gonna drain this off. This is going to be a steel line. Please don't, Eliana. I just told you not to. Okay. This is going to feed steel directly, I believe. <laughs> did it pick up the mouse? Yes, it did. Huh. Let's build some more steel. I'm going to check out the end of the belt here, see if there's more steel there. Dad, guess what? My steel production is up. Guess What's that red stuff? Red, Red circuits. circuits, yeah. Guess what? What? I figured out how to get infinite bomb arrows in Zelda. 
How? Twilight Princess. It's this glitch, and it takes a while to do, and you have to have the double claw shot from City in the Sky, but it's really cool. Do you have to, like, beat somebody at a game or something like that? No. It's like, well, you need to be in a certain spot of Lake Hylia, and you need to get out your double claw shot, and you need to hold Z, and you need to swim sideways into a wall, and then you need to fall off the wall when you're really not falling off anywhere, and then you find yourself somewhere else, and then you have to say no, and then you have to play a game, and then you have to, like, fail miserably, and then you have to say no, you don't want to do it again, and then you have to do some other stuff, and then you have to play the game again, and you fail miserably, and then you find yourself, like, and the game is really weird, and then you have to say, then you're at the boat place, and it sounds complicated. It is kind of complicated. And then, like, the lady there, she's she's supposed to only talk to you when you're, like, a human, but she's talking to you as a wolf. So you have to say yes, and the boat leaves without you because you're a wolf and you don't get on the boat. But So the boat leaves without you, and so when I you... I think this is when the game crashed. Yeah, this is why the game stopped as it crashed. So when you leave... So the, we are going to go back in time for the next episode. So when Thanks you for leave, watching. Take care, and bye-bye. When you leave the building,